Hello everyone and welcome to our bracelet holder DIY video. Today, this is the supplies needed to make the bracelet holders. The last will be velvet fabric or non-stretch fabric, pillow fill or stuffing, rulers, scissors, pencil, a sewing machine, hand sewing needle, thread to match fabric color, and a clip or alligator clip, whatever you prefer. The cutting board and the rotary cutter are totally optional. Hi everyone, my name is Luce and today I will be teaching you how to make bracelet holders. The first thing that you will be needing is fabric. So any sustainable fabric that you have, meaning pieces of, jewel of clothing that you don't usually wear anymore, you can cut those up into a 13 by 8 piece of fabric, just like this. Also, you will be needing scissors and or a rotary cutter, a ruler, pencil, needle and thread, and your stuffing, which you could go ahead and use if you have a pillow that you don't want to use anymore, you can always reuse that if you like, and a sewing machine, okay? So those are the things that you will be needing today. The first thing you should do is definitely clear off your area. Make sure that you have a wide space big enough to place your fabric in a very clean area. Again, clean is the word. It might sound super repetitive, but make sure that you have all of your supplies that I have listed. It will make this project and any other project work and it'll be super fast to get through it. So the first thing is lay your fabric on the wrong side. The wrong side is the ugly part, <laughs> the part that you usually don't see whenever something is sewn. So that is called the wrong side. And as you can see, it's faced up. The reason why I do it like this is because when I trace, you won't be able to see any details or any markings on the wrong side. So now get your ruler and start measuring the 13 by eight. Again, 13 inches by eight. Just go ahead and mark it with your pencil. That's 13. Let's do eight inches on this side. And take your time. Remember, go ahead and measure twice and cut once. That's the rule. If for whatever reason your fabric has a little give, just make sure that you cut accordingly. This project is definitely for someone who is a beginner for sewing. Oops. There we go. Perfect way of tracing something. Don't waste that lead, guys. <laughs> there you go. It did the job. So there we go. Perfect way. Now let's get our scissors. Let's go ahead and cut this baby up. Nice and straight. Steady hand. But if you have a rotary cutter, and if you don't have one, I urge you, ask your next wonderful person to get you one. These are truly a life-changing tool. Just put the edge on the edge of your ruler. And look at that. It cuts it super easily. I love it. And there you go. There's your 13 by 8 piece, guys. Voila! 13 by 8. This will make one bracelet holder. So one of those equals one of these. What do you think so far? Now you can go ahead and make little pillows if you like. And that's for another project if you'd like to do. But it's literally half of that. And you just do half of the 13 by eight and it will create little small pillows. The next thing I would like to talk to you about is this pillow fill, polyester pillow fill. You can get it at any fabric store or any craft store. It's literally just this pillow fill. Um, I love using it in many projects, but also if you don't have it, you can always use pillows that you have laying around to stuff these little goodies. Um, very easy or if you don't have this pillow fill and you don't want to spend more money take those socks that have been lying around because they don't have the other pair instead of this 
polyfill and use those, okay? Use anything that you have. So this will be perfect. Okay, so now that you cut your 13 by 8 piece, you have one piece that looks like this. Just measure it again. 13 inches by 8 inches, okay? It's all right, just to make sure three times it's all good. Now, to the sewing machine. Dun dun dun. Now, don't be scared. It's super easy. Don't get frightened. It's just a machine. Set yourself comfortable. Make sure that everything is in order. Grab your supplies. You need scissors. You need your fabric. You need your thread. Make sure that everything is set. Make sure that your bobbin is fully loaded. Next up, take your 13 by 8 fabric piece, fold it in half. Make sure that the nice side is facing inwards. So now that you have folded your fabric piece in half, it's going to look like this. And you're going to start sewing. And when you do the first couple stitches, you're going to do a back stitch. It's just a back stitch of like two stitches. Make sure that all of your settings are good. I have like a number nine setting and it's ready to go. It's gonna be a half an inch seam allowance all the way. So straight stitch and back stitch. Keep going straight, a very, in a very straight line. When you get to here, you're gonna stop and you're gonna flip the piece of fabric leave the needle in it'll allow you to keep your fabric piece folded in half and not moved in any way so continue sewing a straight line all the way when you get to the corner do the exact same thing leave the needle in back stitch and that's all you're gonna do you're gonna do like half an inch in make sure you backstitch. You're gonna leave a little hole. It's going to be like an inch that you leave uh, unsewn. But don't worry, we're gonna sew it back up. Get your scissors and get the points of your scissors obviously closed and make the little points of your pillow pop out. You wanna make sure that you do that because then they're gonna stay in and you don't want that. Now we're gonna fill this pillow up. You can use lavender, you can use, uh, I've had people use beans or rice. It just depends on what you have in handy. So now to finish your project, you're going to have a little gap like this, a little opening, okay? It's probably like an inch, inch and a half at most. You're gonna go ahead and fold it over and you're gonna sew it. The little alligator clip that I absolutely love are these. They're great to just help you out. You're going to put your thread in on the inside and they'll keep it stable and steady. You can use one or two depending on what you want. And you just go ahead and sew an invisible seam. This will allow your project to look quite professional like you are. But if you absolutely hate sewing by hand, then yes, you could use glue or any other type of adhesive for your bracelet holders to stay close. This will be another way for you to finish off your project. So now that you have finished sewing the inside of it and it's completely closed, you're just gonna go ahead and hit it a little bit. So that way you can disperse all the fill and it can go to all the edges. And there you go guys, that's what you have. I made this one a little bit uh, thicker so that way you can hold my cuffs but for my uh, elastic bracelets I usually do a little softer one. So I hope you enjoyed this project and let me know what you think and I would love to see pictures of your projects. See you soon for our next DIY video. Stay tuned!